none of the almost anything here. So nine years, three grants, thousands of dollars raised by the sawmill, which the last few years run by Joe Eberly here. Thousands more in private donations and thousands of volunteer hours <laughs> led us to Sorry. this event. Um, there's still more to do. There's constant maintenance. Uh, we, we have a nice little kitty of about $17,000 for more paint, more paint, everything, yes. uh, more remediation of things as they happen. Um, thanks uh, for the future tour volunteers and the volunteers from the Allegheny State Park Historical Society that are going to keep this mill open for, on Sundays for years to come. So that's a future thank you. And um, thank you uh, again, uh, speakers, managers, Dave Remington, Joe Everly, and I would like uh, these gentlemen to see a few words, if you'd like. Tim O'Keefe, uh, Quaker manager. Well, I'd like to thank all the volunteers and that you guys that wouldn't ever be wrong. Oh, Tim O'Keefe, right. Thanks, everybody. How you doing? I'm Brian. I'm the new Red House manager. I'm fairly new here. I'm excited to see this up and running. And like Tim mentioned, I'd really like to thank the volunteers and all the hard work that you guys put into this. Brian. Chris Tripoli, park yep. manager. Yeah, I don't have a lot to say. Just uh, we're happy to share in the success and thank you specifically to Paul for his his efforts. And Mark Thomas. And I'm, the, I'm the one long enough to, when you came in and started the friends group. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of the things that was so badly needed here at Allegheny State Park was a friends group that wanted to take on projects. And boy, have you taken on projects. <laughs> and it has made a tremendous difference, this organization has, to not only the park itself, but to all the people that come in here to this park. And this is an example of what's going to happen. This is another attraction here in the park. And another reason for people to stay longer in the park, to, to enjoy and talk it up and bring more people to Allegheny State Park, which we all know is a gem. but. There's a lot of folks, it's a best kept secret to many people, this park. And it doesn't need to be. And, we try. Uh, I want to thank my <laughs> friends. Yeah, you like it that way. Some like it that way. But I would say that it's here for, for people to enjoy. And it's big enough for people to come and enjoy. And uh, I'm, I'm very excited about this project. When I first came here with Mike Chikowski, the former regional director, I started in 2007. I said, Mike, what do you want to do with this? Is this a teardown or is it something we can do something with? And he said, oh, I really want to put it on the list of things we can, we can move forward with. So we've got to give credit to Mike as well because he saw the historical value of this and the attraction value of it as well. And, uh, and then he uh, retired and has since passed away. But the Friends Group picked this project up and ran with it. And uh, when the park had so many other projects and priorities for rebuilding cabin loops and all the and trails and all the other things that the park has had to work on, historic preservation issues, major ones. For the Friends Group to pick this up and run with it was a huge, huge thing. And I retired in 2018, and I, you were well established in working towards this at that point. So congratulations, Paul, and all the rest of you in the Friends Group who worked on this project, because it, it shows what happens when we pull together get amazing things done. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all, gentlemen. If I can ask that uh, Joe Everly from this side of the cab camera. John, come on. Ah, uh, witness protection this, program. <laughs> come on. Blown Everyone drum. else on the, on the staff and... and uh, it's not wide enough. Now i got to back up. <laughs> you're killing me. Uh, Are you saying you're wide? Rick, Rick Fuse. Yeah. Double wide. <laughs> Rick Fuse, Rick, Rick Fuse. I'm at the end. I can oh, use your mug shot. I, I want many. these folks. I want these managers. folks. <laughs> Only one we're here. We're going to pressure them all to give Rick a raise. Um, in all sincerity, Joe, I'm, I'm, I'm the guy. In. You're not even in the picture. That's okay. good. Yeah. Yeah, come on, Joe. That's what he wants. I'm, right, you know, I'm the guy, the, the spokesman, the guy okay. that, you know, on the press releases and all that stuff, but. Um, this staff has been one of the best staffs we've worked with since our inception in 2012. And um, it's just a, a lot of cooperation in that. Um, although uh, Kevin um, is a lifetime member of the Friends and um, a former vice president and board member here, I have to include him because he's been here since the start. And, um, and my friend Rick here is my inside man, so if I need something, I don't have to go through management. 
And uh, that was a joke, yeah. joke for him. Yeah. But anyways, in all sincerity, he's helped us out. <laughs> he's our guy on the sidelines. But he, you know, he was a volunteer as well. He was one of our inspirations to form the Friends uh, back in 2012. And um, and I'd like to also thank my friends from the Historical Society that came here today. We are now working together as friends uh, for the betterment of our beautiful park. And with that. I end the dedication ceremony unless anybody has anything else to say, Mr. Vice President Joe Eberly. I'm good. I plead the fifth. <laughs> <laughs> well, I did want to thank our, our McKean County group for coming down and doing doing uh, parts on the air and things. Uh, Matt coming over with the beard over there. I'm going to throw him under the bus right now. Uh, that's his trailer over there. And his wife does a great mean podcast, so shameless plug. Um, but I wanted to thank Paul. I mean, he is our rock. I mean, without him, We'd be like selling pencils probably in Bradford right now. So, you know, I mean, he's, um, he's been, well, nothing wrong with Bradford, you know. Uh, they got a great dunk in there. Um, I shouldn't say that. We got a Tim Hortons uh, donation here. Um, but, I mean, he's been here day and night, weekends, nights, you know, even on the clock sometimes. But, you know, we won't talk about that. Uh, <laughs> I get paid for this? Yeah, right. Yeah, good luck. But, I mean, without him, you know, and even Kevin and everybody else, everybody contributed. They did a great job. And, I mean, nine nine years of abuse, and now we've got this to show for it. So, definitely a good Please thing. He cooks food for us. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's a fantastic leader, and he is very humble and does not give himself enough credit. And if he added up all the hours that he put into this, it would probably outweigh the rest of the hours that the rest of us Absolutely. Because yeah. sure. yeah. if you can't find Paul... You know where he is. He's <laughs> right here. This is my only peace and quiet. Yeah. Don't tell him that. <laughs> then we showed up. <laughs> and I, I think anybody else, John and Rick? Give Rick a raise. Here's your last chance. Never after that. Yeah, I know. All right, folks, uh, we've, kept, we've kept you long enough. I'm yeah. sure you're anxious to see in there. I want to give a hand to the volunteers and everybody that came. You got to cut the ribbon. We got a bark. There you go. Yeah. Chris, I think you're the, the top official here that's still employed. That's it. Yeah. Uh, you would like what? to uh, I got the official. No. You got to take pictures here. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. My name's Deb too. Okay, I know it. <laughs> Hi, Deb. I like your name. Oop. That's it. Talking yeah. Get pictures. You think it's going to happen? Well, you guys are like politicians here. Yeah. Yeah. Shaking those hands. Shake the hands and kiss the babies. Awesome. <laughs> We're good. That's a wrap. And now walk up through the woods. Yeah.